Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Are you excited about the 2012 Shades Olympics? You know we can't have a, an Olympics here without the athletes. So are you ready to meet the athletes that will be in the 2012 Shades Olympics? All right, let's start. I see him back there. He is representing Alburnia. Here comes Danny. Of course, the capital of Alburnia is Chiswick Stan. He's a favorite in the biking events this week with the white flags. Here comes Danny from Alburnia. Let's hear it for Danny. Great looking group from Alburnia. Now coming in, I also back in this corner and in the middle, I see two teams, Swampland and Tresemme. Now Swampland is, is led by Brian. And Tresemme is led by Michael. They're the black team there. Of course, the capital of Tresemme is Prell. Now it's an unprecedented move this year. These two are going to be teaming up for one event this week. You're going to hear much more about that. The one event these two teams will be teaming up for. Here comes Tresemme here. Let's hear it for the uh, team from Tresemme, led by Michael. And now here is Swampland, the orange team, led by Brian. Also coming into the stadium here, this is the blue team, Istan Blue, led by Lisa. I see them coming in here. And also Kristen from the Christini Islands. Here's Kristen, the green team. Lisa is on a quest for possible records of gold medals. And Kristen is reported to have been seen at the local Brewster's Ice Cream. They don't seem to have much ice cream in her home country, so that's where Kristen has been. And then here to, the, to my far right, that's Stephanie from Pakistan. Let's hear it for the folks from Pakistan. And last, and certainly least, from Goldania, it's Matt. Very small team participating from Goldania. Here is Matt from Goldania. There were concerns after a freak softball injury that he might not be able to participate. But Matt is here and he is in great, great health. Let's hear it for all our teams and all our participants in the Olympics. So again, we want to welcome you to the 2012 Shades Mountain Baptist Church Olympics. You know, never before, this is the first time in history that the Olympics have been held here at this stadium. And as with any Olympic Games, we've spent years getting this very stadium ready for the different areas of competitions. And it's a pretty amazing sight when I look out here and I see all the flags, and you look and see all the flags from these countries that are a part of this event this week. And looking across here, it's an unbelievable sea of colors, and I think it would be a great time a great time right now to get a little more information on our leading athletes here in the Olympics. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the 2012 Shades Olympics. Our seven Olympians have accepted the challenge and are competing to see who will take home the gold, but only those athletes with preparation, self-discipline, passion, sacrifice, and accountability will be crowned victory. Now we've had time to meet our athletes here. Let's give them another round of applause as they leave the stadium.
Now, if you've ever watched the Olympics, you know it really gets started with a traditional running of the Olympic torch. You've all seen this, right? Um, and as you may know, the Olympics actually started over in Greece. So what we did was we went all the way around the world to Greece and we got the official Olympic torch. And we lit it there and we literally have brought it all the way around the globe back here to the Shades Mountain Baptist Church 2012 Summer Olympics. As you can see, when we got it back here to Vestavia, Joel Akeridge was the third from last leg, bringing us the Olympic torch here. What a beautiful sight. Brings tears to my eyes every time. She handed it off to Brenda Clark, our old marathoner. And Brenda, with the next to last leg, bringing the Olympic torch here home to our Summer Olympics. Oh, it's coming up. Are you excited about the torch coming in? It's just outside. The weather cleared just in time for us to get the torch in here. And there's Gary Harvey with the last leg. Oh, he's coming into the building. It's going to come in the back door. Here he comes now. Are you ready for the Olympic torch? It's going to be the official start. Oh, there it is. Here he comes. Let's hear it for Gary. He's coming up here. Uh, It's not really good for anybody, is it? No. No. Um, oh, I didn't light. Yeah. That's a problem. That, that, that's where it was supposed to go. <laughs> we never should let the education guy run the No. Torch. Not Gary well, Harvey. He can count, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, so, so here's the thing. What, what we would like to do, Stephanie, is, is have this lit by Wednesday night when your parents are here, right? So we want you to help us work towards this. And, and, you know, the Bible says that um, your word, God's word, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. And that means scripture is actually the light that helps us see things, God's plan in our life. So in the next couple of days in your classes, you're going to be hearing more about helping us light this torch. And hopefully, we can't count on Gary, but hopefully <laughs> right. by Wednesday night we'll have this torch lit. Is that okay? You guys Did think you can help us? Yeah. Hope so. All right. Well, God's Word is a light to our path. And so in your classes, you're going to be making God's Word. You're going to be writing out God's Word, coloring some pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the torch. And as soon as we get it to the top with God's Word, we cover every side of our torch with God's Word. I think it will light up. Do you think you can do this by Wednesday night is my question. You sure? 